Gemini. Welcome to December 2013. This is your general astrology forecast. Now, I like December for you. There is a lot of positive energy here, and uh, you start off with the full moon in Sagittarius, and that happens for you in the area of relationships. It is a very uplifting new moon. It's in harmonious aspect with Uranus. There can be insights and breakthroughs. For some of you, you may be uh, making new friends, setting new goals, uh, having your hopes and wishes come true, unexpected opportunity, sudden advancement, uh, friends turning into partners, partners and friends. There's something going on with relationships and friendships that's very positive, very uplifting. Um, and not just intimate romantic relationship, but also business partnerships. The seventh house rules your public. It rules partnerships. First and foremost, the husband or the wife or the lover or the intimate uh, partner and then uh, business partnerships and your public. So this is a very big area for you. Uh, so relationships are strong in December for you. Now, for some of you, who are wrestling with Neptune. And this would be Gemini's born in the first week of Gemini. So the first early degrees of Gemini are still being affected by Neptune. How do you know you're being affected by Neptune? You can feel ineffective. You can feel like you don't know where your life is going. You may feel like you don't know where your career is going because uh, Neptune is in Pisces, which is 10 signs from you, so it rules your 10th house of destiny, Pisces does, and Neptune is there. And when Neptune squares your sun in Gemini, you can feel lost, unsure of yourself, like all of a sudden you're having an identity crisis, like, I don't know who I am anymore. And you go and you try to do things to change things, but nothing comes of it. So. With Neptune, the best strategy is to ride it out. It's not a time to change jobs and make major life changes unless, the, you know, unless you're in a situation that you just can't, you know, you know it's over, you know it's done, and you need to move on. Um, however, if you like what you're doing, if you love your work, yet it's been slow or, you know, you're, you're not attracting a lot of customers or clients, wait it out because once Neptune moves off of your sun or any planet you have in Gemini, your clarity will return, your strength will return, your energy will return. When Neptune is aspecting the sun or personal planets like Venus, Mars, Mercury, the moon, we don't have as much energy to work with. We can feel really tired because the ego draws its energy from the sun as well. And when the sun is eclipsed by Neptune, challenge, squared, opposed, conjunct, the sun doesn't have as much energy. So the best strategy, if you're having a hard time right now, is to wait it out if you can. But if you know you're in a situation that you need to move on from, that's okay too. You want to do it. You want to, you know, get yourself out of a toxic job or situation as soon as you can. I do recommend, you know, getting another job first or starting a new business or doing something else with your focus and energy and resources um, so that you have, uh, you know, a strategy that's moving you forward. Uh, Neptune can take anywhere from uh, two to three years to transit. It's like Pluto. Yes, it takes that long. It sits in the solar return chart for 10 years. Yes, it sits that long. Um, and so, you know, you want to work with the energy. If you don't know where your life is going, that's okay. It's like having fog. But once the fog lifts, you will have clarity again. Now, if you later degree Gemini, you haven't experienced this yet. And so you can take action now. You can make things happen now. Your ruling planet is direct and your ruling planet moves into Mercury, moves into Sagittarius on December 4th. This is very good for you. So now again, we have more activity in that seventh house area. And this is very good for hiring consultants, uh, forming business partnerships, uh, forming relationships, whether it's intimate or uh, business, this is a wonderful time for you and relationships. So you're pretty much on fire 
in December. Then Mars enters Libra on December 7th, and Libra is a sister sign. So with Mars in Libra, and Mars is going to be in Libra for eight months because Mars will retrograde from March 1st through May 20th in 2014 and will enter Scorpio on July 27th, 28th of 2014. Uh, yeah, July 28th. So it's really, you know, so it's in there for eight months. Okay, fifth house. Libra is five signs from you. Libra is a sister sign. Harmonious energy flow. Mars is lighting up your area of romance and true love for five months. Yes, this is good for starting relationship. Yes, this is good for meeting someone new. If you're married and happy, this is good for that too. Because relationships always need to be invested in. They always need to be uh, worked on. It's like anything in life. If you don't work on it, it falls apart. It doesn't do as good. It's like your job. You can't just, you know, ride on last year's successes. You always have to be working at it, right? Same with self. We always have to be working on ourselves to improve ourselves. We can't ride on what we did 10 years ago. We have to ride on what we're doing today. Our success of tomorrow is determined by what we do today. So, Gemini, having Mars and Libra, your sister sign for eight months, is pouring positive energy into you for eight months. This is very good for the Geminis. This is um, strength and drive and ambition and guts and glory in the area of creative self-expression, risk-taking, self-confidence, true love, romance, the love you give to others and your children. So this is a wonderful energy. This is so good for you for the next... Um, eight months, Mars is in your corner. Mars is empowering you to take risks. And if you don't have Neptune, you know, fogging you out and, and making you feel like you're a ghost, take action in December. Take action in January. Take action. Your ruling planet is flying forward. And Mercury is on the move and he is moving fast in December. He enters Sagittarius on December 4th and on the 24th of December, he enters Capricorn. That's exciting. That is very good for you. It's very good for the Geminis. You, you know, <laughs> you're going to be making so many new contacts and new opportunities in December, but you have to stand still long enough <laughs> to see them, okay? Because you are like, you know, the cartoon Speedy Gonzalez. Andale, udale, yeeha! And I'm off. You're running and you're ready to go. And so you don't want to be missing all the opportunities coming your way because you were here, now you're here, now you're here, now you're here because Mercury is on the move. And uh, Jupiter trying Saturn on December 12th. This is very good. This is empowering your work situation, your money situation. Jupiter is in the area of your money, and it is in harmony with Saturn in the area of your work. So you can increase your money in December. And this is foretelling 2014, because Jupiter and Saturn are going to hook up again in 2014. Saturn is in Scorpio, sister sign to Jupiter and Cancer. And so those two, the master strategists with the master builder, Jupiter and Saturn, together in harmon harmony, spells reward for you, an increase in your sense of self-worth, an increase in uh, your ability to produce, make things happen, get things done, really showing up in your work. And that means more money for you in your pocket. Yay! Okay, now we have your full moon on December 17th. I love this full moon. We get one full moon and one new moon a year. This full moon has no uglies on it. There's no Pluto Uranus on it. So you have a fabulous, happy full moon on the 17th in you, all about you, new beginnings, new starts. Uh, yes, we'll bring some completions, right? Because full moons bring things to completions, but whatever ends, right? A new circle begins, right? That's the full moon, endings and beginnings. And so it also means new beginnings for you, new outlook on life. Maybe you'll work on your physical appearance, um, but you will be drawing new opportunities to you. This is a party moon. The, the Sagittarius and Geminis are the party signs of the Zodiac with the Aquarius and the Leos. So we're in the party time right now. And we want to make hay while the sun's shining because... Um, this is a very uplifting energy. It's going to bring new connections to you, new opportunities. You have a big chance for new love uh, for the next eight months, Geminis. That's, now, that's, if you're already married, then you, it could be a new love for life. It could be a new project. Throw yourself into a new project. It could be taking the love you have, your husband or your wife, to the next level. 
where the two of you start a business together, a project together. You do something incredible together. So it really is a wonderful energy. And for those Geminis that are single, Mars could be bringing the love of your life because uh, for the females, Mars is men, but also for men um, with Mars and Libra, it could bring a beautiful Libra woman to you. So you're, you're having fun. Things are awesome. And uh, then things start to move into Capricorn. And so the sun enters Capricorn on December 21st and Venus in Capricorn retrogrades just a few hours after solstice on the 21st and Venus will be retrograde from December 21st through January 31st. Now Capricorn is eight signs from you. So this could be about sexuality because you got the Mars in the fifth. Now you got the Venus in the sex house. So <laughs> some Gemini's are going to be feeling really hot. We've got 50 shades of Venus in there and um, have fun with it. Have fun. Have a good time. Now you may also be looking at your money because this area also rules the money of your husband or the money of your wife, the money from uh, insurance payout, tax payout, royalty payout. This is money uh, from inheritance, money other than income earned, um, but it's the money of your husband or the money of your wife, the money of your partner, the money of your business partner. So with um, Venus going over things in there, you may want to restructure debt. You may want to eliminate debt. You may want to um, refinance your house, refinance your car. You may want to get a new business loan. Um, I like to wait till Venus goes direct. You can research things right now, you know, but use the next six weeks till uh, February 1st and then um, go to the bank and sign the paper and do what you got to do. For those of you that want a loan for starting a business, Google Microloans. These, this is an organization that's giving out money to entrepreneurs all over the world, including the United States, because entrepreneurs are having a hard time getting business loans from traditional banking because traditional banking isn't set up to give you um, a business loan. But if you need a business loan for this fabulous project or idea, a creative endeavor that's coming up for some of you, get it, do it. Now's the time to go for it. Go for your heart's desire. Now, the sun is going to conjunct Mercury on December 29th. This is in the epiphany. For you, it's in the eighth house of other people's money, other people giving you money. Check out the microloans. Check out, um, you know, uh, where else you could be uh, changing the balance of income going in and income going out so that you have more money in your pocket. This is a strong time for you to be working on this, a strong time for you to be considering this and doing this. You could have an epiphany. When the sun conjuncts Mercury, synchronicity happens. Epiphanies happen. We get an insight, a breakthrough. And it's your ruling planet with the sun lighting you up going, oh, I didn't think about that. Whoa, that's a great idea. One great idea can take you on a whole new life path. Okay. And then the sun and Mars square Uranus on December 30th. I can't believe the astrology at the end of the year going into the new year. It activates the grand square. So you've got the Sun square Mars and you have Mercury conjunct Pluto square Mars on December 31st and then the Capricorn new moon on January 1st activates the um, grand square. So for you, this is about, you know, um, looking at your shared resources, looking at the debt that you have. How can I restructure it so I have more money coming in and going out? You're looking at your money, your resources and how you can better use your talent, skills, and ability to create the life you want, to make more money, to keep more money. Love is in the air everywhere I look around. Mars is in the fifth house of true love, romance, creative self-expression, risk-taking. It's time to go for it. Now, the challenge with you, Geminis, some of you, is to not be pulled in too many directions, okay? Never do more than three things. There's something alchemical and magical about Three, the number three related to uh, source and, and, and all of us and Earth being th the third planet from the sun. There's something about the, the number three. And I've always used this when I coach people. If we stick to three things, we are masters. We do more than three things. We just don't get anything done. So stick to three things. No more than three things.
and you will find that you are incredibly effective. You're making brilliant breakthroughs, maybe some breakthroughs you haven't had all year in years, but are coming your way now and are the foretelling of what's coming up for you in 2014. So this is a strong time for you. This is um, a, a, an awesome month for you. This could be like your best month of the year. And you really want to use this time to cut through obstacles, make things happen, make those new connections, make those new opportunities. But again, don't put too much on your plate. You put too much on your plate, and then instead of being the jack of all trades, we're the master of nothing. So <laughs> you want to be doing the three things you love the most. Make those your priorities. And if you do that, it'll be amazing what you can manifest here in December and in 2014. It's a strong time for you. Use the Cardinal Grand Square to clear out what no longer works for you. Clear out friendships that aren't working for you. Clear out organizations or networking groups you're associating your time with but aren't really feeding you back. Look at how you're using your resources. How can you use your resources to increase your income, make a better life for yourself, be open to love, be open to creativity, be open to new projects, new ideas, new inspirations. How can you restructure debt so you have more money coming in? How can you eliminate debt so that you have more money coming in and staying with you? Microloans, consider microloans. You could get a microloan and start a new business, be the master of your destiny. And what a great way to go into 2014. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my podcast, Gemini. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology and what's coming up for you in 2014, very easy. You go to the link below. It takes you to my astrology page. You purchase your session. Once I see you've made that commitment, I send you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. Then we're off and running, rocking and rolling. Or if you're interested in coaching, same thing. You go to my coaching page. You purchase a session. And then I take you to, uh, then I send you my schedule. You get on my schedule. And then we get you coached. So until next time, Gemini, I will be back soon with your 2014 year ahead astrology forecast blessings and abundance <laughs>